back. My time! In the village of Ban Nong Pradu in rural northeastern Thailand lies an ancient Buddha statue named Ongbok. The village falls in despair after thieves from Bangkok decapitate the statue and take the head with them. King, a villager extremely skilled in Muay Thai, volunteers to travel to Bangkok to recover the stolen head of Ongbok. His only lead is Don, a drug dealer who attempted to buy an amulet in Nong Pradu one day earlier. Upon arriving in Bangkok with a bag full of money donated by his village, Ting meets up with his cousin Humley, who has dyed his hair blonde and begun calling himself George. Humley and his friend Moy Lek are street bike racing hustlers who make a living out of conning Yaba dealers. Reluctant to help Ting, Humley steals Ting's money and bets all of it in an underground fighting tournament at a bar on Chaosin Road. Ting tracks down Humley and gets his money back after stunning the crowd by knocking out the champion in the ring with one kick. <laughs> His extraordinary skill grabs the attention of Conchuan, a grey-haired crime lord who uses a wheelchair and needs an electrolarynx to speak. It is discovered that Don had stolen Ongbok's head to sell to Conchuan, who sees no value in it and orders him to dispose of it. The next day, Humley and Moy Lek are chased all over town by drug dealer Pang and his gang after a botched Baccarat game scam at an illegal street gambling booth. <laughs>
Ting fights off most of the thugs and helps Humley and Moi Lek escape in exchange for helping him find Don. They return to the bar, where Ting wins the respect of the crowd after defeating three opponents consecutively.
The trio find Don's hideout, triggering a lengthy tuk-tuk chase. The chase ends at a port in the Zhao Priya River, where Ting discovers Comchuan's cache of stolen Buddha statues submerged underwater. After the statues are recovered by local police, Comchuan sends his thugs to kidnap Moi Lek and tells Humli to ask Ting to fight his bodyguard Saming near the Thai Burmese border in exchange for Moi Lek and the Ongbok head. Ting is forced to throw the match against the drug enhanced Saming, and Humli throws in the towel. Bing a boo, 
ิ้วนี่เป็นเป็นนักมวยไทยทิ้งประตูผิวนักมวยมุมตะด้านทิศตะวันออกอายุทางทิศตะวันตกมุมตะวันตกนะครับส่วนนักมวยพม่านะครับเชื่อแต่เลยครับเอาละครับจ้าดของพม่าฝีมือจัดจ้านสมิงซิปเทียนหนึ่งสำหรับนักมวยพม่าคนเริ่มจบนะครับการแข่งขันเริ่มขึ้นแล้วเนี่ยต้องพอพอดีนะครับนะครับพิกซูสองเวียนแฮมติดครับหลังจากที่ห่างเกินถึงคู่ในหน้าดูตรงคู่เลยครับทิ้งที่ซ้ายเข้าไปเลยทิ้งที่เข้าไปเทียนหนึ่งซ้ายเข้าไปเทียนเจ๊แอบลุกครับแอบทิ้งครับAfter the fight, Comchuan reneges on his promise to release Moy Lek and return the head, and he orders his henchmen to kill the trio. King and Humley subdue the thugs and head to a mountain cave, where Comchuan's men are decapitating a giant Buddha statue. King defeats the remaining thugs and Saming, but is shot by Kanchu.
Before the crime lord attempts to destroy the Ongbok head with a sledgehammer, Humley jumps to protect it, taking the brunt of the hammer blows. The giant Buddha statue head suddenly falls, crushing Kanchu into death and critically injuring Humli. Humli gives Ting the Ongbok head, and with his dying breath, asks him to look after Moi Lek and make sure she graduates from college. The head of Ongbok is restored in Ban Nong Pradu. Humli's ashes, carried by an ordained monk, arrives into the village in a procession on an elephant's back while the villagers and Moi Lek celebrate the return of Ongbok's head. <laughs>